One would have presumed that post the pandemic, the contemporary art market would have taken a big beating and even diluted. But that is far from reality. The prices have held fought despite the pandemic. We're telling you the reasons why this has happened. And of course, an overview on the Indian modern progressive master artists as well. And where does the art market valuation stand in India? Take a look at my report. market valuations are holding fort on expected lines. While moderns always retain value despite what happens around the world, including recessions. It is contemporary art that is first to take a hit in valuations and hence touted to be risky as an alternative asset class. Strangely, I had thought that the contemporary market would would dissolve because, you know, uh, th things were so tough. But actually, the art market as a whole has responded positively. Um, when you look at auctions, be it auctions of moderns, which obviously prices will sustain, but even of contemporary prices have to a large extent sustained and uh, so it hasn't been a bad time for art. You know, as far as the contemporary art is concerned, uh, you know, some of uh, young artists and my contemporaries doing excellent work and I think it is, uh, you know, I mean, the people have realized that as well. It is the Gen Z and the millennials who are looking at art as an alternative asset class than building a collection. Saffron Art's recent sale crossed the 100 crore rupees mark, making it a record-breaking auction. The State of the Art Market Report 2021 reported how FY21 was the best year for Indian art auction market. The collective turnover of art sales clocked in at 880.9 crore rupees in FY21. Now juxtapose this with a figure of just 13 crore rupees in 2000. On a year-on-year -year basis, if one compares FY20 with FY21, there has been a 57.3% jump in the turnover of the Indian art auction market. While traditional buyers remain a strong force in driving the market, it is the entry of new collectors who find art a safe investment option through the economic uncertainties and that is quite conspicuous. The Indian art market has been on the up and up even through the pandemic with record auction sales and a great spirit of collaboration between the arts community and our galleries providing crucial support through challenging times. The 2020 edition of the fair was the most successful to date and this year we are expecting new heights further bringing confidence and strength to the art market. Undoubtedly, it is the progressive modern masters like Francis Newton Souza or Guy Tonde or Makbul Faza Hussain for that matter who still command the highest premium. Modern uh, masters, the masters that are just completely going through the roof uh, is Guy Tunde, uh, Taya Mehta, Souza. These are the masters whose values are really high. There is also a definite chatter with NFTs. Undoubtedly, there is a brand new breed of investors looking at NFTs. But to say it will replace traditional art form is a far cry. New uh, collectors come from a new economy. Mm. Mm. And you can understand that new economy has a little bit uh, 
somewhere sudden money and then the kind of involvement hmm. in art one day it is good that they are interested in art hmm. they have a less experience is the indian art market currently at levels like it was in fy8 the clear answer is a no but experts say it is getting there which makes it a very interesting time to collect art with an appreciation potential in mind masters like amrita shergill gai tonde and even raza are on their way getting back at the fy8 levels one of the finest years in indian art market in new delhi chaitanya narula for india today